Hello and welcome back here to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit. We are here on Torque Drift to get back sideways in this game. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all of which are found in the description box below. So we are back in Torque Drift, and for today's episode, we are going to just be hammering out some multiplayer runs here for today we do have the xbox elite controller out for today's episode and we're gonna go see if we can't do this daily challenge here at long beach looks like we have to go up against matt fields's corvette and we're probably gonna go with let's go with another falcon tires car we're gonna go with odie Bakshi's s14.5 and we're gonna see what we can do with his car here at Long Beach Circuit. Kick it in third. Definitely needed to uh, be a lot closer on initiation. Torque Drift definitely been absent on the channel for a little bit of time here recently. Coming back here, trying to go full send in some teal and blue. Oh, if you guys want to keep seeing Torque Drift on the channel, make sure you guys let me know down in the comment section down below. Tap that like button and subscribe to the channel. I would appreciate all the support as we go hard into that wall. Sorry, Odie. We kind of wrecked your old car, but luckily you have a new car for, you know, the upcoming season that you can run in. I don't remember this track. I forgot this is the track that goes all the way up here and then full send into that wall and full send back around to the entrance, the full loop circuit. So definitely not the cleanest run on the first run. And definitely not where we needed to be, but pretty close. We only need 20,000 for two sponsor crates. So, surprisingly, fairly close. We're going to pull out Red Dan Supra. I know we said we were going to use Zoe's car, but we're going to flip it. If we don't pass a challenge, we'll change cars each time to try and beat the challenge in some different cars. Not as close as I want to be. Kick that in the fourth gear, though. Getting much closer to the wall right there. Downshift in the third. This is much cleaner than the first run. But now we are nowhere near Matt Fields. In tandem. Wrecking all these FD cars. We got this, though, I think. We don't got this. I say we had this, but we don't. Full send on top of Matt Fields. 360 for the fail. So let's change cars once again, because we're going to shotgun these cars until we can beat this challenge here for today's episode. Daishihara's BRZ. Maybe this twin turbo V8 can actually get the job done. Much closer on initiation. I need to go into fourth. I keep forgetting to go into fourth gear. Uh, this is where we need to be. Oh, hard into that wall, but and so close. The closest we've been yet is with Daishihara's car shredding body kits and just smacking walls. Oh man, I'm making all the wall taps harder than I want to. We gotta slow down here so we don't go full sail over Matt Fields. I think we were able to get it that time. So we were able to get it that time with Daishio's car, which is good because we only took three tries. So we we're able to complete that challenge. We should have. Why is it not giving me a score? Um, Torque Drift. I think Torque Drift broke. It didn't give me the rewards. Is it? Is it 20,000? It has to be 20,000. So apparently it didn't want to give me the rewards. So we're just going to go on into Pikes Peak Grid Life Circuit. And we're going to pull out probably RZ. And we're going to go full send here in RZ and the Grid Life Circuit. And we're going to uh, go for a free battle, try to find a competitor, and see what we can do with the grid life circuit in the Z. 
So like I said, Torque Drift taking a little bit of hiatus from channel, bringing it back here. So we are going against, it looks like a pro driver, not a, not a bot. So we're going to see what we can do. 998 horsepower in the Z on Falcon Xena ZE912s going against SR Monster. Countdown clock is down. Let's see if we can't get a good lead. I totally forgot that this car has a extremely laggy power band in the beginning. And we need to make sure we try and stay in angle and get all the points. Controller drifting, definitely not my strong suit, but not doing too, too bad here for today's episode. Did not bring the wheel out. If you guys want to see the wheel here on Torque, just let me know down in the comments. If you want to see the wheel, come back here on the game. We did not stretch that out at all. Not the cleanest run by any means. Oh no, nowhere near the cleanest run. 30 to 70, we definitely have a huge disadvantage going into our chase. I don't think the Z is the right choice. We may have to pull out the S13 because the power is for some reason not there on start. And I think it has to do with the engine I have in here. They're going full send and high angle and my headlights are not working in the Z either. So that's not good. I can't stay in angle. Oh, okay. Little grass cut. I tried to follow his line. We would have died if we tried to follow it completely. And we are out of the tandem circle. So definitely when you take a hiatus from this game, you got to come back and relearn everything. Relearn the cars and things of that nature. So it's, you know, a bit of an uphill battle here for today's episode. We definitely lost. So unfortunately, we did take that lose, but, oh, and you know, we are losing points, so we're going to bring a different car out because I feel like this car is not tuned very well right now. We have to revisit the tune on the 350Z and make some modifications, so we're going to go do the Trident course because the Trident course is very fun, very long. But we're going to bring out, what car should we bring out? Let's bring out the S15, a car we haven't driven much. We're going to bring out this S15 and see if we can do a nice run here at Grid Life in the Trident course. I know a lot of people have been asking for Torque Trip to come back, so we are back. And I know a lot of people have been wondering why there hasn't been as many and that just has been so busy with the track and everything with Assetto but we are coming back to other games here on the channel so it looks like we're going against an auto dev so we should be able to get a win because you know bot battles are usually easier go into fourth gear kind of stretch that out okay well I say bot battles are easy until we go head first into that barrier. So maybe we should be able to make the last part of this track fairly easily. A little bit wider than I wanted to right there. And there. Bring it, wrap it around in the Trident course, which a lot of people said the Trident is one of the harder courses that they've driven. I find the Trident course quite fun and uh, flowy. Oh. But we did lose drift there. But I still feel like it's enough to beat the auto dev. No. No, it's really not. Maybe it's not actually an auto dev. Because they had 144,000 on the run. I had 28. We definitely need to bring back all the stops here. If we're going to try and get back up here on top on Torque Drift. With good solid runs. We're going to need to do some more solid practice and some more tuning of cars. My chase run is much better.
come back to Torque Drift and start getting my bumpers handed to me by all these competitors. So definitely going to have to continue my stride on here with some new cars, some new tunes. So if you guys have a car that you want to see possibly built here on Torque Drift, let me know down in the comments. That's a, that's a barrier. And this run is nowhere near as good, but the score is higher than my lead run, which is very different. Normally your lead runs higher than your chase, but in my case today we are backwards, so 66 to 106. So we are going to take another loss. Looks like we are going to be taking most of the losses here for today, but we're going to go try one more run at another course to end this episode off. Where are we going to go? Orlando Car Park. Let's go to the car park. We can bring out the S13, I feel. It's got enough power and things of that nature to run the car park quite easily. So the S13, definitely a very solid chassis and something I've driven in this game many, 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 many times. And I know this car is a bit better tuned than my 350, which we should revisit and retune the 350Z. So we got to find our next and final competitor for today's episode whenever it decides to load there we go it looks like we're going against george k in george k's car so i don't think this is the actual george k somebody's using george k's gamer tag so let's see what we can do with the 13. third gear kicking it around Oh, I went the wrong way. I forgot that it goes this way and does a basically a figure eight. And we zeroed our run because of that. <sighs> Struggles are real here on Torque Drift. Just goes to show you should definitely not take a hiatus if you want to be able to keep strong in the game i don't think we're gonna get a rematch so i think that'll do it here for this episode on torque trip make sure you guys follow me on all social media all of which fun in the description box below as always i thank you guys for coming back and watching i'm evil rabbit i'll see you guys on the track <laughs>